Fiona, how are you? I'm great. How are you? Very well. Thank you for having us in your apartment. Um, the big thing is, it's in the Lower East Side. How does it feel? Because music is made here. Music was made here. This is like the place to be. Yeah, I mean, it feels great. I love, I love my neighborhood, and um, it definitely feels like there's generations of creativity here, and that seeps into you in a way. <laughs> In regards to your music, now you've been described as having music very similar to Amy Winehouse almost, and um, it's very rock and roll, it's hillabilly, but it's soulful. Tell me about you and your music. So yeah, I have a lot of different influences. I love Amy Winehouse, she's amazing. Um, but yeah, I love like Joan Jett too, you know, and uh, there's definitely a lot more edge and rock and roll in my music. Um, but there's also soul and I listen to a lot of old like Aretha Franklin and you know just the people who really brought that to the forefront in the beginning and um, it's great to be inspired by different genres. Essentially with your music there's a story behind it that darkness where does it come from? Um, I've lived through a lot of different things <laughs> in my short time on this earth and uh, you know I've I've suffered through a lot of loss, like I lost my father at a young age and I lost my brother. Um, and, you know, from that pain comes growth and, you know, I think writing and writing music is a way of just processing that and connecting with other people to hopefully, you know, hopefully help other people who are struggling through similar things. One of the things that I love is the way that you dress, your fashion sense. You can see that in the music videos. You have this sultry look. Um, who are your fashion icons? I love Gwen Stefani. <laughs> she's amazing. Um, she's also a music icon, which is what I think is great about her too. Um, but of course, you know, like Vivian Westwood. And I mean, there's so many incredible people out there it's it's hard to choose <laughs> I love old glamour you know I love like old Hollywood glamour just ugh, it's it's amazing you know so I love to dress up in all sorts of different characters but certainly you know putting on like a fur and a gown and <laughs> red lipstick is quite fun sometimes <laughs> little thunder tell me about that so Little Thunder is my debut album, it just came out, and um, it was produced by an incredible woman named Erin Tonkin, and um, we made it here in New York with a handful of super talented musicians. Um, and it's a real, you know, like we were talking about, it's a mixture of different sounds, like from grunge and garage rock to soul and pop and there's like a 60s influence and um it was just so much fun to make <laughs> now erin's worked with a lot of big names out there um i mean it's a big thing to have her with you how's that feel it feels amazing um we became friends and quickly realized that we were a great fit to work together because she's very um, intuitive and she listens and it's a very male dominated industry so it was an incredible thing to be able to work with a woman and she's quite young um, and she's worked with David Bowie and Esmeralda Spalding and um, just a lot of great musicians and she knows her stuff she's really talented and she's not a lot of producers I think have a heavy hand and they want to make a record sound like them whereas she has a much more natural approach and is like well I want to make the record sound like you you know and um, and I studied audio engineering as well so we actually co-produced it but um, I just like to give her the credit because she did so much you know she really did your tour begins next week yeah, so I'm going to LA for all of August and then I'll be touring in the US in September and hopefully the UK in October. <laughs> Is there anywhere in particular that you want to play in the UK? Ooh, um, I mean, there's so many great spots. 
I've heard of, first of all, I've never been to the UK. So this is crazy for me. This is like a big thing. So I can't speak off of like firsthand experience of having been anywhere. But uh, Union Chapel looks amazing. And I think that would be an incredible experience just to be in that kind of room. And uh, yeah, that that would be a big one for me. (laughs) Organizers at Union Chapel, if you're watching this, Fiona Silva, she's amazing. Um, In regards to your life motto, how do you live your life? Is there something that you're always, you have to revert back to, this is what it is, this is what it is? Um, I think just staying true to yourself is the main thing for me. Um, I think all of us have like this sort of inner thing where we just know intuitively if something feels right or doesn't, you know? So I guess like trust your gut and um, at the same time, sometimes you have to take a risk, you know? And you just have to put yourself where you want to be and let things unfold. And so I say don't be afraid to take a risk. But you have to really be strong and you have to really stand up for yourself and you have to have a good bullshit detector. (laughs) Because so many people are, you know, manipulative and just kind of out for their own agenda. And you really have to be able to cut through that and see who is sincere. Fiona, thank you so much. Um, Not only are you down to earth, love your music. And um, she's one that we'll be looking out for at Distract TV. Thank you.